It's the end of 2021, and by all accounts, the 15,000 hours I've invested in Rocket League is finally starting to pay off. I made it all the way into Champ, hosted a small event giving away cold hard cash to the best zero second goal. I've been coached by everyone from Yukio and Verge to Rani and Helvetia, and finally feel I have a good enough grasp of the game to begin coaching an RLCS hopeful team called Andriette, with a kid I met in the aforementioned contest named A. Zapatos, who, as it turns out, is also one of the best 1v1 players in the world. I've created a successful franchise in the popular indie gaming league from my buddy Hootie Who, and I've even managed to get a t-shirt and a follow on Twitter from my idol Jazer. By all accounts, I'm primed to leave my decades-long career making car commercials. As 2022 gets underway, Chris Rock gets slapped by Will Smith, I celebrate my 54th birthday, and about a week later on April 7th, I end up here. A blood clot had worked its way into my brain, causing a stroke. Luckily, my wife was familiar with the FAST acronym and recognized I was having a stroke and called 911. I was rushed to the hospital and into surgery, where I watched on a circular amber screen as they inserted a catheter into my groin, snaking it into my brain and pulling out the clot. I've been a pretty lazy guy for years, drinking, smoking cigarettes, whiling away hour after hour at my PC, playing Rocket League, coaching Rocket League, watching Rocket League. In the meantime, my blood pressure was rising. My hair was getting out of control and I peaked at 265 pounds, a full 100 pounds over my high school weight. In hindsight, it was really just a matter of when, not if this was going to happen. And let me tell you, it's a heavy price to pay. I returned home from the hospital with my entire left arm paralyzed completely. I had no idea when or if I would ever hold a game controller or an instrument again. I got into occupational therapy with a wonderful woman named Tanisha and over the next six months slowly began to regain the movement in my arm and then my hand. I tried acupuncture too and at the end of the first year was finally starting to be able to pick things up, dress myself and most importantly exercise. I quit smoking cigarettes, quit drinking alcohol and eventually gave up meat, well uh, except for fish, which I guess makes me a pescatarian. At the end of 2022 I had dropped over 80 pounds and gotten my blood pressure back to normal without medication. To be honest I kind of had to. My health insurance and initially denied all the hospital bills and sent them to me to pay, telling me I owed the hospital over $200,000 in hospital bills. Fortunately, my brilliant wife managed to turn the tables on them and get all but our deductible covered. All of which brings us to here. I've kept a gamer tag and started chronicling my progress, which is ongoing. I hope to share tips on healthy living, inspire anyone facing adversity, and eventually to pick up a guitar and play Rocket League again. So if all that sounds entertaining, please throw me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.